Okay, we believe we do have uh, Courtney, Grant, Courtney Kramer uh, again for us live tonight. Listen, it's COVID. Technology doesn't like us at times. It's cold outs. But uh, let's get more on the Vermont communities who, on the ballot today, were talking about selling recreational marijuana. Courtney, fill us in. Lauren, all of that very true. So far, the measure has passed right here in the Onion City with about 70% of voters in favor. Burlington, Montpelier, Middlebury, Windsor, Brattleboro, and Waterbury will also soon be home to dispensaries and other retail marijuana stores. The measure did fail, however, in Richmond. Now, Governor Scott will need to get to work on finalizing the state's cannabis control board. It'll craft the rules and regulations for this new industry. And that's why many of Vermont's nearly 250 towns did not prioritize it this town meeting day. But for those municipalities that did pass it, they won't see the first brick and mortar setups until at least October of next year, 2022. Nonetheless, cannabis advocates say they're excited to see the marketplace unfold. This is not a black market uh, industry any longer. If an adult chooses to consume, they should be able to purchase that and they should be able to know what they're getting. They should be able to know that they're getting safe product that doesn't have pesticides or contaminants or anything else. Tomorrow, be sure to tune into Local 22 News this morning. We'll let you know what other cities and towns will soon offer retail marijuana, as well as those who voted it down. We're live tonight in Winooski. Courtney Kramer, Local 22 News.